Bonjour, today on Travelling Fabulously, I'm bringing you the top department stores in Paris. You know what I say, whatever you do, do it fabulously. So why don't you come and join me on Travelling Fabulously. Bonjour, today on Travelling Fabulously, I'm bringing you the top department stores in Paris. And right now, I'm standing up high on a walkway in the middle of Galleries Lafayette, known for its beautiful dome, which with this great new sky bridge, you get to see a fantastic view of. So come join me exploring the top department stores in Paris on today's Travelling Fabulously. The Galleries Lafayette Houseman Boulevard stores are the flagship stores for its chain that now spreads all across France. In 1893, the original store was only around about 70 square metres. Now it covers four different stores just on the one street. In its history, they were the first department store to produce its own clothing line. Then they expanded into menswear, furniture, toys, and even tableware. The store organized grand publicity, like a plane landing on its rooftop. Galleries Lafayette now has over 70 square meters of floor space. They even have a whole store devoted to the Chinese tourist market. Galleries Lafayette has the largest shoe department in Europe, so it's a perfect place to get your Jimmy shoes. The food hall, which is located opposite the lady store on Boulevard Houseman, has in the last few years been renovated. Now it takes up the ground and basement level. The ground floor has many patisserie and gourmet food options to try and even dine in. Whilst the basement level has a grocery section, as well as a butchery, a fromagerie, and even a poissonnerie, or a fishmonger I should say. Across the road from Galleries Lafayette, on our search for the top department stores in Paris, is Fratom. But first, we need to cross the road. Once crossed, you will see what Pretemps has been known for in Paris since it opened in 1865, and that is its window displays. Pretemps is all about fashion, and so all year round, their windows highlight the best of fashion available in store. The original store was opened on the 3rd of November, 1865. In 1867, it was the first store to install elevators that was actually a novelty back then from the Universal Expo. Pretemps is said to have revolutionised retail business practices. The store marked items and set prices, but people used to go in and ask to pay whatever they wanted to pay. And now they weren't able to do that. They had to play what was on the sticker. They also pioneered the idea of discount sales to clear outdated stock. So those great 70% sales can be attributed to the good old Pretemps apparently. There are three buildings in the Houseman Boulevard area for Pachomps, and in 2018, they renovated the men's building and devoted the top three floors to food. The seventh floor is full of grocery and everyday items. It's a great place to pick up some coffee or tea. Then on the eighth floor, there is a range of restaurants for you to eat at, with a great view from the windows of the Eiffel Tower. I'm here on the rooftop of Pretemps, where you can come and have a fabulous dining experience with an equally fabulous view, of course. In 2019, Galleries Lafayette opens its new store on Champs-Élysées, in the site that used to be a Virgin Megastore. The renovation of this Art Deco building is reason enough to go visit the store in my opinion. 
There's over 600 brands and 300 designers with merchandise to purchase, from perfume to clothes and makeup, of course. Come explore the shop at Galleries Lafayette on the Champs Elysees. BHV, as I mentioned in my guide to the Fourth Arrondissement, is located in the Marais and covers many buildings with stores for everyone. There's a ladies store which has homewares and kitchenwares and luggage as well. Then there's also a store for men's items and even a store for doggies. Just across the metro at Severin Babylon is Le Bon Marché, the good market as it's known in French, or also thought to be the good deal. Le Bon Marché is now owned by LVMH, and so of course it sells a wide range of luxury brands in the store. But don't be put off by that, as there's loads to offer for everybody here. Even if you don't want to buy anything, you can just go to this store to check out the amazing ceilings and light wells on the top floor. Across the road is the homeware store, which you can get out via this bridge. On the basement and ground levels of this store is the first Le Grand Epicerie in Paris. The second is the one I mentioned in the video on Rue de l'Annonciation. Le Grand Epicerie is a foodie's heaven and is not to be missed for any foodie visiting Paris. YouTube says you should be watching this video next, but I think you should watch this one. But whatever you do, you should subscribe to Fabulousness by hitting the subscribe button just here. What do you think, Lenny? What do you think? What do you think? Oh, what do you think? What do you think? Subscribe to Fabulousness by hitting the subscribe button just here.